Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Dear brothers and sisters, Assalamu Alaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh. This past Friday, President Trump declared a national emergency to cope with the outbreak of coronavirus that has consumed the lives of thousands of people around the world. It's very understandable that we have an environment of fear. People are very anxious and stressed about their own safety, the safety of their loved ones and their families. But I want to remind you here today that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, قُلْ لَنْ يُصِيبَنَا إِلَّا مَا كَتَبَ اللَّهُ لَنَا هُوَ مَوْلَانَا وَعَلَى اللَّهِ فَلْيَتَوَكَّلِ الْمُؤْمِنُونَ Say that nothing will afflict us except what Allah has already decreed for us. And this is a concept that we need to be very aware of and remember this all the time, that He is our protector. This life is full of tests, brothers and sisters, and this is a theme that has been repeated in Quran so many times. In Surah Al-Mulk he says, الَّذِي خَلَقَ الْمَوْتَ وَالْحَيَاةَ لِيَبْلُوَكُمْ أَيُّكُمْ أَحْسَنُ عَمَلًا In Surah Al-Kahf he says, إِنَّا جَعَلْنَا مَا عَلَى الْأَرْضِ زِينَةً لَهَا لِنَبْلُوَهُمْ أَيُّهُمْ أَحْسَنُ عَمَلًا And in Surah Al-Baqarah he says, وَلَنَبْلُوَنَّكُمْ بِشَيْءٍ مِنَ الْخَوْفِ وَالْجُوعِ وَنَقْصٍ مِنَ الْأَمْوَالِ وَالْأَنفُسِ وَالثَّمَرَاتِ وَبَشِّرِ الصَّابِرِينَ Ayah after ayah he's repeating the same statement that you will be tested. You will be tested, but those who are going to be patient are the ones who are going to be successful. So in the next days and weeks, brothers and sisters, there are so many things we can do, and I wanted to share with you some thoughts on that. Number one, be calm, be collected, and be positive. Be confident that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is there to protect you. Number two, I really want everyone to reflect on why we have been put in this test. What were the environment around us what were the circumstances? What is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is trying to teach us at this moment? Try to drive lessons from this test. Number three, ask yourself how you can be of help, how you can create an environment of positivity. How can you be a positive role model for the people around you? Number four, focus on your family. Over the next weeks and potentially months, Many of us will be working from home and you'll be spending a lot of quality time with your, with your family, hopefully. So make sure that you sit down with your family, with your children and explain to them what's going on. Make sure that they are hopeful. If you have elderly parents, make sure you take care of them. Number five, ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for forgiveness. Repent to Him. Increase the use of adhkar in your daily life. Number six, Give charity. The Prophet ﷺ says, as rab Charity is extinguishes the wrath and the anger of Allah. Number seven, rekindle your connection with Allah. Rekindle your connection with Quran. Number eight, remember that one of the key conditions of Iman is to have Iman on the Qadr, good or bad. Wa tu'minu bil Qadri khayrihi wa sharri. Number nine, don't panic. Don't panic and don't procrastinate. And why do I say that? Because if you've had any thoughts, if you had any plans to do something good, don't delay it, brothers and sisters. And number 10, in the end I will say, take all precautions. Take all the hygiene precautions, take all the directions from the health officials and the public officials, CDC and the government. Be careful. Be a responsible citizen. Over the days and weeks, brothers and sisters, we will be receiving a lot of news. Be responsible in terms of forwarding that news before confirming them. Make sure that they are good for people. At the end, brothers and sisters, I want to leave you with this. No matter what happens, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is in control. Inna Allah ala kulli shay'in qadeer. I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to protect us all. I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to protect your families and your children. I ask Him subhanahu wa ta'ala to remove this, this virus from our lives and protect us all. Jazakumullahu khairan. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.